Hello everyone, very good evening and welcome to this live session and the much awaited session from most of your students, right? So very good evening and welcome to this live session for the monthly current affairs of the month of October 2018. So hope your preparation for general awareness is going on well. We have IBBS PO mains examination coming on 18th November. So all the best to all of you, those who are writing. Okay, shall we start the monthly current affairs? Yes, I'll be fast. So catch up my speed. Okay, so let's see the first question of the day. So please note down your score too. We have to deal around 200 questions. Okay, so first question here. Who will head the group of ministers to examine modalities for calamity tax under GST? So who will head this committee? which will look into calamity tax which will be collected from the states and it will be used for the calamities or natural disasters yes what is the right answer for this question be fast i'll give you only five seconds what is the right answer yes sushil modi is the right answer which look in, looks into calamity tax recently gst calculator was also inaugurated or launched by the famous japanese company called cashew today is the current affairs you can go through that through talent sprint platform next india's first aict training and learning academy is to set up is to be set up in which city yes all india council for technical education what is the right answer for this question it is in jaipur of rajasthan this atal academy will be coming up in jaipur of rajasthan moving on to the next question which state government has recently launched its food security scheme to cover the poor people who left out of the National Food Security Act 2018. So which of the following has launched its own food security scheme? So what is the right answer for this question? Yes, it is. Odisha CM is Navin Patnaik. And the governor is... Ganeshi Lal. Recently, Make in Odisha Conclave was also held. Yes. Moving on to the next question. Which city has launched India's first flood, flood forecasting and early warning system? FFE EWS. First flood forecasting. So, what is the right answer? Yes, it was launched by in the state or in the city of Kolkata of West Bengal. Who is the CM? Mamata Banerjee. Who is the Governor? Keshrinath Tripathi. Okay. And the Tsunami Early Warning System is in Hyderabad. And Flood Warning System is in Kolkata. Next. Pandit Tulsidas, Tulsidas Borkar who has passed away recently was a legendary exponent of which musical instrument? Yes. He is famous for which musical instrument? It is harmonium. He is famous for harmonium. Next. Which of the following will become the second Indian state after Rajasthan to set up ministry for cows? So first is Rajasthan. Which is the second one is the question. Yes. What is the right answer? The right answer is Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh recently it has also given five cabinet ministers portfolios to religious persons right next which of the following woman physicist has won the 2018 nobel prize in physics she is the only woman in this physics recipient so three people were given the physics nobel prize for their discovery regarding light who are they donna strickland Or the Rashkin and Gerard Mauru. Do Donna Strickland, she is the woman. So this is the right answer, and she is from Canada. Or the Rashkin is from USA, and Gerard Mauru, Mauru is from France. So these three people have got the Nobel Prize in Physics. Who has been named as the flag bearer of the Indian contingent for the third Para-Olympic Asian Games 2018? 
third para olympic asian games they were held at the same place of asian games where is it jakarta so who was the flag bearer for it it is tangavellu mariyappan high jumper tangavellu mariyappan he was the flag bearer for india which of the following has been declared the cleanest government university in the swachh campus ranking 2018 cleanest government university yes what is the right answer it is maharshi dayanand university in rohtak of haryana is the right answer so this is declared this was declared as the cleanest government university in the swachh campus ranking who has been appointed the first ever female major general in the 47 years history of bangladesh first ever female major general yes what is the right answer just take 5 seconds for each question and be active in answering the questions what is the right answer susain geeti has become the first ever female general of Bangladesh okay Bangladesh capital is Dhaka and its currency is Taka capital is Dhaka currency is Taka Russian president Vladimir Putin has arrived in India to attend 90 19th India Russian annual bilateral summit which was held in which are the following places yes where was it held obviously in the current in the capital of national capital region that is new delhi okay and uh, india has bought the s400 triumph series from russia right next civil civil aviation ministry has released the policy on biometric based digital processing of passengers called as what is the name of this initiative who is the minister for civil aviation it is suresh prabhu he is also the minister for commerce and industry okay he is from andhra pradesh rajya sabha constituency what is the uh, name of it it is digi yatra is the initiative what is the theme of 2018 world habitat day yes what is the right answer world habitat day is observed on 7th october and there is one organization called un habitat it is in rome of italy at rome of italy we also have united nations environment program so what is the answer for this municipal solid waste management is a the theme of world habitat day 2018 India came 2018 the 10th biennial international exhibition and conference was began in which city or it was held in which city India came 2018 related to chemicals or chemistry so where was it held it was held in mumbai so categorize the events if it is in new delhi write all the events at new delhi and others at different places so that it will be easy for you to recall in the before the examination next gst collection sorry gross collections of direct taxes in september 2018 is gross collection of direct taxes what are the direct taxes we have income tax corporation tax securities transaction tax yes all these are called as direct taxes which come under central board of direct taxes who is the chairman sushil chandra is a chairperson sorry just a minute un habitat is in nairobi of kenya and also unep is also at nairobi of kenya thanks who has been appointed as the md and ceo of icsa bank after chenda kochar has resigned from the post i think very easy it is sandeep bakshi who was also appointed as the chief operating officer of icsa bank which is headquartered at mumbai It's a private sector bank, and its tagline is 
खयाल आपका ओके नेक्स्ट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग हैड लॉन्च बूस्ट टू ऑफर इंस्टेंट लोन विद इन नाइंटी सेकेंड्स बूस्ट टू ऑफर इंस्टेंट लोन विद इन नाइंटी सेकेंड्स विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज इट इट इज मोबीक्विक द प्राइवेट पेमेंट ऑपरेटर मोबीक्विक हैज लॉन्च दिस बूस्ट टू ऑफर इंस्टेंट लोन विद इन नाइंटी सेकेंड्स एंड गवर्नमेंट हैज लॉन्च पी एस बी लोन्स इन फिफ्टी नाइन मिनट्स डॉट कॉम राइट फॉर एम एस एम ईस एंड दे कैन गेट अप टू वन क्रोर्स एज लोन्स इन दिस फिफ्टी नाइन मिनट्स इंडिया हंड्रेड एयरपोर्ट पाकियांग एयरपोर्ट इज इन द स्टेट ऑफ so recently it was inaugurated so this state does earlier it didn't have any airport so after this airport has come into picture now all the states and uts have an airport so this is the 100th airport that is pakyang airport so which is in the state of sikkim pawan kumar chamling is the cm he is the longest serving chief minister and it is also the 100% organic state is it also received fao's gold policy award right hope remember next who has been appointed as a vice chairman and md of the infrastructure leasing and financial services il and fs recently it was in npas right so to recover it from npas yes it is uday kotak the chairperson of kotak mahindra bank was appointed sorry it is vice chairman chairman is uday kotak and vice chairman is vinith nayar so vinith nayar is a vice chairman so the question is vice chairman here okay the right to education means the right to a qualified teacher is the theme of 2018 world teachers day is observed every year on so national teachers day is observed on september 5th right and world teachers day is observed on exactly after one month that is on october 5th is the right answer okay this is the theme right to education means the right to a qualified teacher According to the Economist Intelligence Unit commissioned by payments company Visa Survey Norway has stopped in the government's adoption of e-payment system and what is the rank of India in it So in payment system report by Visa you know right Visa Mastercard these are payment services so first is Norway and what is the rank of India is a question So it is 28th survey done by visa india has launched operation samudra maitri to assist the survivors of last week's earthquake sorry recent earthquake and consequent tsunami in which of the following places yes it happened so recently there was an earthquake as well as tsunami and there were lot of deaths in indonesia okay and recently there was the crash of the lion air flight of indonesia also right and india has launched samudra maitri this is also the name of india indonesia navy exercise garuda shakti is military exercise samudra maitri is navy exercise between india and indonesia who is the youngest indian who made test century in his debut test century in his debut Yes, it is. Prithvi Shah. Prithvi Shah has made his country proud by becoming the youngest Indian who made Test century in his debut. The Union Cabinet has approved the establishment of National Institute of Mental Health Rehabilitation. Earlier, it was planned in Bhopal, but it was shifted to Sehore District, which is in. madhya pradesh okay 
Next. Which of the following has launched a national level entrepreneurship awareness campaign called Udyam Abhilasha in 115 aspirational districts identified by Niti Aayog? Identified by Yes, what is the right answer? It is Sidbi. Sidbi has launched this. Sidbi's headquarters is at Lucknow. And its chairperson is Mohammad Mustafa. Next. Which of the following was named the National Coordinating Institute for the Scheme for Promotion of Academic Research and Collaboration, SPARC? It was allocated around 418 crores by the Union Government. Scheme for Promotion of Academic and Research Collaboration. IIT Kharagpur is the right answer, which is in West Bengal. So this is the coordinating agency of SPARC scheme under the Ministry of Human Resource and Development. Prakash Javadekar is a minister and he is from Maharashtra Raj Sabha constituency. Okay. Next. Justice Ranjan Gogoi has succeeded Justice Deepak Mishra as the Dash Chief Justice of India. So Justice Ra sorry. Justice Ranjan Gogoi is the 46th CJ of India and 45th is Deepak Mishra. Okay and Chief Justice of India is appointed by President of India and maximum age to contest for Chief Justice of India is the same age for Supreme Court that is 65 years. Next. Who has been appointed as the Chairman of the Working Committee and Director of the Board by the International Industry Body called World Federation of Exchanges? World Federation of Exchanges It is headquartered in London of UK So who is that? It is Vikram Lime who is the MD and CEO of National Stock Exchange Right? NSC which is headquartered in Mumbai who has been appointed as the Chairman and Managing Director of National Small Industries Corporation which is under SIDB National Small Industries Corporation so who is it? It is Sudhir Garg. Sudhir Garg was appointed as the CMD of NSIC. Government of India and Asian Development Bank has signed how much loan agreement to expand sewerage and drainage coverage in Kolkata? Asian Development Bank which is headquartered in Mandalayong. It is in Manila of Philippines. Its president is Takahiko Nakao. Its vice president is DJ Pandian who is an Indian. Okay, how, so how much was it signed? 100 million is the right answer. Okay, next. Who has won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for 2018? Yes, it is Francis Arnold, George P. Smith and Gregory Winter. Francis Arnold is from USA, George P. Smith is from USA and Gregory Winter is from uh, Britain. Dr. Ivan Atar Ada has received 2018 Nansen Refugee Award from UN High Commission for Refugees. He hails from which country? Refugees means you know right, the migrants from one nation to other nation. So he hails from South Sudan, its capital is Juba. Next. 
If summer 6, a joint multinational maritime exercise is being held in South Africa. It is joint navy exchange between South Africa and Dash. So, if summer S is South Africa, B is for Brazil, and I is for India. So, it was held in South Africa recently. So, India and Brazil, South Africa. Next. Who has been elected as the president of Iraq? Yes. What is the right answer? It is Barham Salahi. Iraq, its capital is Baghdad. And its currency is Iraqi dinar. Okay. Next. M. Bankai Naidu has, has inaugurated world's largest dome at the Maharashtra Institute of Technology World Peace University campus, which is in which are the following places? Is it Mumbai, Pune, Nagpur, Nashik, or Indore? Yes, World Peace University hosts the world's largest dome. So it is in Pune campus of Maharashtra. Okay. Next. What was the GST revenue collection in September 2018? GST revenue collection. For October it has crossed recently 1 lakh crores, right? And for September what is the GST collection? 94,000. 442 crores. Okay, in April it has crossed 1 lakh crores again. And again in October it has crossed 1 lakh crores. The government has appointed six member board led by Uday Kotak set up to set up to appoint the chairman of ILFS, expand ILFS. So just now we have seen what is ILFS. It is Infrastructure, Leasing and Financial Services, ILFS. Its chairman is Uday Kotak and vice chairman is Vineet Nair. Next. State Bank of India has reduced the daily withdrawal limit on its classic and master debit cards from 40,000 to how much is the value? Daily withdrawal limit. to 20,000 from so it will be effect from 31st October 2018 so 20,000 is the right answer next Geeta Gopinath a professor at Harvard University has been appointed as the chief economist of yes it is for IMF Geeta Gopinath was appointed as the chief economist of International Monetary Fund who has been elected as a new Hockey India president new Hockey India president yes what is the right answer Mohammad Mustaq Ahmad was selected as Hockey India president recently who was India's flag bearer at Youth Olympic Games held in Buenos Aires, Argentina? Youth Olympic Games. Yes, who was the flag bearer? It's Manu Bakker. Manu Bakker for Youth Olympic Games and Neera Chopra for the start of Asian Games and Rani Rampal for the end of Asian Games. Hope you remember. Okay. Next. Who has won the Russian Grand Prix 2018? Russian Grand Prix 2018. So just uh, the Formula 1 races, just categorize them. Brazil, Russian, London. So whatever it is, note down the winners at one place. Okay, so that will be easy for you before the examination. 
So what is the right answer? Lewis Hamilton, most of the most of the time they will not ask from Formula 1. If they ask, we have to be prepared. Who has won the 25th Asian Junior Individual Squash Championship title? 25th Asian Junior Individual Squash Championship title. Yes, it was won by Yuraj Vadwani. He has won the 25th Asian Junior Individual Squash title. International Translation Day is observed on Translation Day. Yes, it is observed on September 30th. Okay, next. DASH is the newest World Health Organization led roadmap to support governments in taking practical steps to accelerate progress on health, beat non communicable diseases. So, what is the name of the initiative? by World Health Organization to prevent alcohol particularly it is safer safer is an initiative sustainable affordable like that facilitate indoors like that okay name the country that has received the biggest loan package ever from IMF aimed at shoring up the country's ailing finances Yes, which country has received this? It is Argentina. Its capital is Buenos Aires. And its currency is Argentinian peso. Next, who has been elected as the chairman of Press Trust of India? Press Trust of India. PTI. Yes, it is. N. Ravi, former editor of Hindu, the Hindu. Now, who is the uh, editor? It is Suresh Nambat. Recently, he was appointed as the editor of Hindu. Yes. Name the state that has signed a loan agreement of 150 million with the Asian Development Bank for its first multi skills park in India to boost employment in the state. So where does it come? Madhya Pradesh for India's first multi-skills park will be coming up in Madhya Pradesh. So 150 million US dollars was signed with the ADB. Next. Central government has increased its contribution in the state disaster response force from 75% to dash with effect from April 1st, 2018. So generally central government will contribute to state disaster response funds. So earlier it was contributing 75%. Now it has increased its contribution to 90%. Okay. Union Minister for Petroleum and Natural Gas Dharmendra Pradhan has launched an initiative called Satat. So what does S stands for in Satat? Yes, what is the right answer? Sustainable, sustainable alternative towards affordable transportation. So, what is this scheme used for to promote biogas? So, as fossil fuels will expire after some years, so biogas promotion is the main aim. The Railway Ministry in collaboration with DASH has launched Rail Heritage Digitization Project. Yes, it has collaborated with Google. Google was also collaborated with Railways to provide Wi-Fi also, right? And also this Rail Heritage Project to preserve these Rail Heritages. President Ramnath Kovind has given assent to a bill providing legal protection to good Samaritans in which state? Good Samaritans means those who help the needy, right? 
so it has it was passed in the state of karnataka next mohammad Ga sorry mahatma gandhi international sanitation convention was inaugurated in mahatma gandhi international sanitation convention yes it was inaugurated in new delhi to commemorate the 149th birth anniversary of mahatma gandhi on 2nd october so in 2019 it is 150th birth anniversary okay what is india's gdp growth forecast for 2018 as per unctad united nations Con conference on trade and development it is headquartered at geneva of switzerland so it has given its report trade and development report so what is the forecast by it for 2018 yes the right answer is seven percent seven percent is the right answer rba forecast is 7.4 percent okay what which of the following is the venue for the 17th edition of old world theater festival 2018 Old World Theatre Festival. It was again held in New Delhi. Which sports personality has been honored with the Ramineni Foundation Outstanding Person Award? Ramineni Foundation Outstanding Person Award was given to the badminton national coach Pullela Gopi Chand. Okay, next. M. N. Palur, who passed away recently, was a modernist poet of which language? M. N. Palur. So he belongs to Malayalam of Kerala. He is a poet of Kerala. M. N. Palur. Which of the following states has become partner state at the 2018 Goa International Film Festival? Yes, so which is that state? It is Charkhand. Ragbar Das is the CM. So it is a partner state for 2018 Goa International Film Festival. Indo Japan bilateral maritime exercise called GMEX was started at which of the following cities? GMEX between India and Japan. Slinex between India and Sri Lanka. Milex is of Bimstek. Simbex India and Singapore. Okay. So where was it started? It was started in Vishakapatnam is the right answer. Natwar Thakkar who has passed away recently was a renowned Gandhian from which state? Natwar Thakkar who has passed away recently. So he was renowned Gandhian from Nagaland state. So Natwar Thakkar from Nagaland state. Next. Who has been adjudged man of the tournament at the 2018 under-19 Asia Cup cricket tournament? Man of the tournament. Yes, it is. Yashasvi Jaiswal was under judge at the 2018 under 19 Asia Cup tournament, man of the tournament. Who has been appointed as a new deputy national security advisor? National security advisor is presently Ajit Doval. And who was appointed as the deputy NSA? It is RN Ravi. He is the interlocutor of Nagaland state. What do you mean by interlocutor? Interlocutor means those who speaks with the armed for means rebels and the government. Like Dineshwar Sharma in Jammu and Kashmir, RN Ravi is the interlocutor of Nagaland. Okay. Next. Center for Fourth Industrial Revolution of India would be based in. 
So it is going to be set up by the World Economic Forum, which is headquartered at Cologne of Switzerland. So it will be coming up in Maharashtra. And it was launched by whom? I just now have told you it is World Economic Forum. Strengthening forest fire management in India jointly prepared by the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change and DASH. So this was prepared by Minister of Environment and Forest and Climate Change and World Bank. Who is a minister? Harsh Vardhan is a minister. He is from Chandni Chowk, Delhi Lok Sabha constituency and is also the minister for Earth Sciences and Science and Technology. First India-Israel Innovation Center was opened in. First India-Israel Innovation Center was opened in. It was opened in Bangalore. Okay, first Israel India Innovation Center. Which of the following has launched first ever single debit cum credit card in the country? Very important question. Yes, it was launched by Indusind Bank, the private sector bank which is headquartered in Mumbai. It has launched this. Accelerator engagement program was launched by Accelerator engagement program. Yes, it was launched by HDFC Bank. Okay. Next. Which country has been chosen as the host for 2018-22 Youth Olympic Games by International Olympic Committee, making its first African host of any Olympics? So 2018 Youth Olympics was held at Buenos Aires of Argentina and 2022 was at Senegal. Senegal's capital is Dakar. Its currency is West African franc. Next. Who is the author of the book The Paradoxical Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his India? Yes, what is the right answer? Sanjay Baru has written The Accidental Prime Minister Manmohan Singh. Okay. And Shashi Tharoor has written this book, The Paradoxical Prime Minister Narendra Modi and His India. Name the person who resigned as United States Ambassador to United Nations recently. Yes, it is Nikki Halley. She has resigned. Now the post is empty. Soon someone will occupy that post. Okay. Name the person who was sworn in as the US Supreme Court Justice recently. So he's in news because of Me Too movement. So who is that? It is Brett Kavanaugh. So he was appointed as the Supreme Court's Justice of United States. Former SBA chairperson Arundhati Bhattacharya was appointed as an advisor for Arundhati Bhattacharya was appointed. She was a former SBA chairperson. Yes, she was appointed as an advisor of Chris Capital and board member of Reliance Industries Limited also. Okay. Next. Which of the following countries has appointed new minister of state? So new minister for suicide prevention. Yes, it is. UK, Theresa May has appointed one of the ministers as suicide prevention minister to prevent suicides in UK. Which of the following countries has recently decided to abolish capital punishment? Capital punishment.
Yes, it is. Malaysia is the right answer. Its capital is Kuala Lumpur. And its currency is Ringgit. Next. Capital punishment means hanging to death. Who has become the first Indian to get world championship seeding with third rank? In the world rankings, he has got third rank. So who is that? Our Bajrang Punia. He is very famous wrestler. He has won gold medal at the Asian Games in the 65 kgs wrestling category. So he has taken the third rank recently. Next. GD Agarwal has passed away recently. He was A or an. GD Agarwal, he was clean Ganga activist. Okay, he has died recently, so he is very famous clean Ganga activist. He was fighting too for cleaning the Ganga. Dashayan festival is related to, as the name says, it is the Vijay Dashami. We celebrate Vijay Dashami and they say Dashayan, it is in Nepal. Okay. 29th Accountants General Conference was inaugurated in Twenty-ninth Accountants General was inaugurated in New, Bel New Delhi. So categorize the current affairs, events in New Delhi and others. Okay. So really it will be easy for you. Who has become the India's first trans queen and she hails from? India's first trans queen, transgender. It is Veena Sendre and she is from Chhattisgarh state. Okay. How much interest is paid on present sovereign gold bond scheme? So sovereign gold bonds means instead of buying physical gold, you buy gold in the form of a bond. Okay. So minimum investment is 1 gram and maximum investment is 4 kgs for individuals okay and the time period is 8 years and how much is the interest provided 2.5 percent national postal week 9th to 15th october was celebrated recently in 9th october is observed as world post day okay And Universal Postal Union is in Bern of Switzerland. Universal Postal Union. And it was observed in the state of Maharashtra. Who has been appointed as the new Solicitor General of India? He is an assistant to the Attorney General. Okay, Solicitor General is a like an assistant to Attorney General of India, who is the first law officer of India. He represents the government in all the courts, including Supreme Court. Who is the present? It is K. 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 Venugopal. Okay. And Tushar Mehta was appointed as the new Solicitor General of India, who assists the Attorney General of India. In states, we have Advocate General. Okay. Who has been appointed as the first UN in India Young Business Championship for the Sustainable Development Goals? which are 17 in number yes it is the chairman of Kirloskar Industries Manasi Kirloskar she has become first UN in India young business champion of these sustainable development goals International Day of the Girl Child and World Obesity Day are observed on so both are observed on the same day International Day of Girl Child Plus World Obesity Day. They are observed on October 11th is the right answer. And what is the theme of International Day of <coughs> International Day of the Girl Child 2018? Yes. With her a skilled girl force is a theme of and World Obesity Day theme is Weight Stigma. Both are observed on October 
11th okay 32nd world conference of world union of wholesale markets was held at so where was it held in gurugram of haryana so i have already told you categorize the events new delhi and others so that will be easy for you which union ministry has launched the india for humanity initiative india for humanity initiative yes it was launched by ministry of external affairs sushma swaraj is a minister and she is from vidisha of madhya pradesh lok sabha constituency next who is the winner of india's first gold medal at the 2018 summer youth olympics summer youth olympics it is jeremy lalrenunga he was the winner of india's first gold medal at 2018 summer youth olympics and who has clinched india's first gold medal at the 2018 asian para olympic games same i held at jakarta only yes it is sandeep choudhury he is the winner of the first gold medal at asian para olympic games former leader sir chotu ram statue was launched by pm modi at which of the following places yes he is a leader from sonipat of haryana okay all these places are from haryana only but sonipat this sir chotu ram statue was inaugurated recently anti terrorism force named kavach was launched in the state of kavach so it was launched in the state of haryana is a right answer what is the name of the mobile application launched by indian air force who is the air chief marshal virendra singh dhanua right it is medwatch the mobile application launched by indian air force is medwatch as per imf world economic outlook india's growth prediction for 1819 and 1920 is imf publishes world economic outlook okay and also global financial stability report So as per world economic outlook for 2018-19 what is the prediction and 1920 what is the prediction it is earlier it was 7.3 only now also it is 7.3 and for 1920 earlier it was 7.5 now it is reduced to 7.4 India's first 2G ethanol plant to come up in Dash states Bargar district Yes, it is in 2G ethanol plant, which uses the bio manure to produce gas. What is the name of the Hockey World Cup 2018? What is the name of the mascot of Hockey World Cup 2018, which is to be held in Odisha? Recently, the cheer up song was also come, right? Yes. So, mascot name is Oli. because of olive ridley okay olive ridley turtles are very famous in the beaches of rushikulya etc okay and gahir mata wildlife sanctuary of odisha clear sky 2018 is a joint military exercise between nato and nato a stands for north atlantic treaty organization it is a grouping of 29 nations which is headquartered at brussels of belgium and it was a joint exercise of NATO plus Ukraine. Its capital is Kiev. Its 
currency is iron river so next where was the second world conference on access to medical products achieving the sdgs 2030 held recently yes it was held at new delhi the answer is simple but the question is big okay what was the theme of world mental health day observed on 10th october 2018 yes rapid trident clear sky clear sky is of air excise and rapid trident is of military excise between ukraine and nato okay so what is the answer Men young people and mental health in a changing world so world mental health day is observed on 10th october which of the following cities is a venue of commonwealth parliamentary conference of india region of india region yes the right answer is it was held at gahati of assam attended by sumitra mahajan the lok sabha speaker Shashakta Kisan Yojana and Krishi Samu Yojana was launched by the state of Shashakta Kisan Yojana and Krishi Samu Yojana was launched in the state of Arunachal Pradesh. Okay. Nirman Kusma scheme pro for providing financial assistance to the children of construction workers for their technical education was announced by the state of Nirman Kusma scheme. Yes, it was announced by the state of Odisha is the right answer. National Housing Bank has decided to increase the refinance limit to Dash from 24,000 crore to dash crore recently nhb has given to pnb housing finance how much it has given 3500 crores right so this is a recent current affair given in november okay so it has increased to 30000 crores the total refinance limit from nhb nhb's headquarters is in new delhi remember like this okay next Richie Benard named sport Australia Hall of Fame legend Richie Benard belongs to which sport generally Hall of Fame is generally mostly related to cricket is also related to other sports but mostly we observe in cricket so cricket is the right answer which state government has launched a scheme to provide 10,000 per annum worth of free electricity to farmers to increase their income? Yes, it is Vasundra Raje, the CMO of Rajasthan. Governor is Kalyan Singh for Rajasthan. So this state has announced 10,000 for farmers to increase their income. Russian president has attended the DAS summit india russian summit i think we have just now seen it is 19th india russia bilateral summit where was the two first reach two day first regional conference on women in detention and access to justice held women in detention and access to justice detention means arresting before so that something will happen that is called preventive detention you are preventing some crime or terrorist activity okay so the right answer is it was held in shimla of himachal pradesh which railway zone has become the unmanned level crossing free zone eliminating over thousand such level crossings recently so totally it is unmanned level crossings that means there is no unmanned level crossing now everything has gates all the railway crossings of this zone so which is that it is southern railways which is headquartered at chennai south central railway is at sikindrabad northern railway is at new delhi southern railways is at chennai central railways is at mumbai eastern railways is at kolkata 
who has been awarded with Nobel Prize for Economics. Nobel Prize for Economics for studying consumer behavior. They are William Norris and Paul Romer, both of them belong to USA. So they were awarded the Nobel P Prize for Economics. ISSA Good Practice Award, Asia and the Pacific was won by. Yes, it was won by Employee State Insurance Corporation of Ministry of Labor and Employment. Who is a minister? Santosh Gangwar is a minister. Which of the following countries has officially legalized recreational use of marijuana? Marijuana means it is a drug. Okay. So generally, drugs are prohibited in most of the countries. But here, this country has officially legalized recreational use. For marijuana, it is Canada. Its capital is Ottawa. Currency is Canadian dollar. Which of the following countries has successfully tested world's largest unmanned transport drone called FH-98? Unmanned transport drone. It is China. China is the right answer. Fayong is the name. FH. Who has been honored as the India Social Entrepreneur of the Year Award 2018? India Social Entrepreneur Year of the 2018, it is Prema Gopalan. Who are, which country is to host the 2019 IAF World Relays? IAF stands for International Association of Athletics Federation. It is in Monaco. Monaco is a country in Europe. So, Japan will be hosting the 2019 World Relays. Relays means running races. Okay. India's first agri and food business online learning platform has been launched in which city? First agri and food business online learning platform. It was launched in the Warangal city of Telangana state. Which noted historian has authored the book Maharana Pratap, The Invincible Warrior? Maharana Pratap is very famous. Was fought war with the Mughal Emperor Akbar. The Battle of Haldigati. Okay. So it is Rima Huja has authored this book, Maharana Pratap, The Invincible Warrior. The ruler of Punjab. First ever joint military exercise Dharma Guardian 2018 was conducted between India and Dash country. Dharma Guardian. It is between India and Japan is the right answer. Okay, GMX is also India and Japan. What's the theme of the two th sorry, 12th Asian Europe meeting which was held in Brussels of Belgium? Yes, it was held in Brussels of Belgium. Global partners for global challenges. 12th Asia Europe meeting theme is global partners for global challenges national disaster management meeting recently it was held in new delhi so it will be chaired by whom is the question yes it is chaired by the prime minister of india though disaster management comes under ministry of home affairs but it will be chaired by next prime minister of india Shahi Lichi from Dash has received the geographical indication tag recently. Shahi Lichi. So it has received from the state of Bihar. Next. 
India's first railway station inside a tunnel to come up in dash. India's first railway station, it will be coming up in Himachal Pradesh, which connects Jammu and Kashmir, Leh, Srinagar, Leh Road. Okay. Who is a 10 year old boy from Jalandhar awarded Young Fild Life Photograph Year of the Award by London Natural History Museum? Jalandhar of Punjab. So it is Arshadeep Singh. He has become the 10 year old boy to win the wildlife, Young Wildlife Photograph Year of the year by London Natural History Museum. Stephen Hawking's last book claims there is no God. So he claims that there is no God. Stephen Hawking very famous scientist from UK. So it is brief answers to big questions is the right answer. Okay, his book is brief answers to big questions in that he claims that there is no God. Which state has around 3% sub quota for recruitment of sports persons in government departments and public sector undertakings? 3% sub quota to sports person by Tamil Nadu state. Swast Bharat Yatra national campaign to has been launched for which purpose? purpose? Generally we know Swach Bharat, right? It is Swast Bharat. That means healthy India Yatra. For which purposes? It is for safe food is the right answer. Safe food. What is India's rank in World Economic Forum's Global Competitiveness Index for 2018? Global Competitiveness Index is released by World Economic Forum. First is USA. And India was ranked 58th. Who was appointed as the face of Nokia phones in India on 15th October 2018? Yes, it was. It has appointed Alia Bhatt. Next. Where was Barossa, the 24 hour state of the art center, to support women and children affected by violence inaugurated recently? Yes, it was launched in the city of Hyderabad of Telangana state. Who has won the International Olympic Committee Award recently? Yes, it is Suhail Tandon. He has received this award recently. Who has become the first Indian archer to clean silver medal at Summer Youth Olympics 2018? First Indian archer. It is Akash Malik. All of them are, all of the options are, they belong to archery only. National Investment and Infrastructure Fund NIFF IF, is to set investment of how much rupees crore in SDFC capital reality firm. So NIFF, its MD and CEO is Sujay Bose. It is used for infrastructure funding. So it has to invest around 660 crores. Sixth edition of India International Expo Silk Fair is being held from October 16th to 18th at India International Silk Fair was held at New Delhi. Who is the Minister for Textiles? It is Smriti Irani. Next, Sri Mata Vaishno Devi Board has approved to enhance free accident insurance cover up to dash for pilgrims visiting Vaishno Devi Temple. It is in the state of Jammu and Kashmir. Vaishno Devi Temple, very famous. 
so it will be providing 5 lakh rupees for an accident visiting that temple Paul Allen who has passed away recently has co-founded Microsoft along with Bill Gates in which year yes it was founded in 1975 along with Bill Gates and Paul Allen next which state has launched Khadya Sati program to ensure food security Khadya Sati program by West Bengal also she has launched Rupa Shri scheme etc also for girls Khadya Sati is for food security now foreign travelers visiting Dash can travel without restrictions so which is that place in India recently restrictions were removed it is Andaman Nicobar Islands India to set up special desk to facilitate inv investments from UAE named Dash so name of that in special desk What is the right answer? UAE plus is the right answer to facilitate investment from UAE. Which nation has set up break, in, break into India strategy committee to strategize for investment in India? Yes, Sri Lanka has set up this break into India strategy committee. For investment in India. Next, Man Brooker Bryce was won by Dash for the novel. Man Brooker Prize generally given to fiction by Man Brooker International. It was given to Anna Burns for her novel Milkman. For 2017, it was given to Ola Tazurk for flights, and for 2018, it was given to Anna Burns. She is from Northern Ireland. Okay. Next, which of the following districts has won JRD Tata Memorial Award for cleanliness, etc.? Yes. Nilgiri district of Tamil Nadu has won this JRD Tata Memorial Award recently. Yes, PDF will be provided. Don't worry. University of Pennsylvania School of Design has bestowed its top prize, Carnot Award, in Energy Policy 2. The Minister for Coal and Railways, Piyush Goyal, has won this Carnot Award. He is from Maharashtra, Raj Sabha constituency. Next. According to a World Health Organization report, which of the following is world's most depressed country with most number of anxiety bipolar disease, disorder cases? So which is that state? So Indians are worrying more they are depressed more as per World Health Organization. Who has been appointed as a chairperson of National Commission of Protection of Child Rights for a term of three years? Yes, it is Priyank Kanungo, National Commission for Protection of Child Rights head who has been appointed as the director general of CSIR which comes under Ministry of Science and Technology Sarsha Vardhan is a minister so who was appointed as a director Shekhar C. Monday of CSIR World Food Day is observed on World Food Day is observed on is observed on October 16th India's men and ho women's hockey team have clinched dash medals at 2018 Summer Youth Olympics
Yes, they have won both men's and women's team has won silver medals at this event. Who has been recorded as the chairperson of Association of Mutual Funds in India, AMFI? It is Nimesh Shah. Nimesh Shah was appointed as the chairperson of AMFI. World Student Day is observed on. World Student Day to, to honor the birthday of APJ Abdul Kalam, the People's President. It's observed on October 15th. Which tweet, state or union territory has announced Chief Minister's Urban Leadership Fellowship Program to attract young leaders to address serious urban challenges? Yes, it is by the Delhi CM Arvind Kejriwal. Union government has announced dash rupees crore award for states that would complete the household electrification under the Saubhagya scheme. Pradhan Mantri Sahaj Bijli Hargar Yojana to provide electricity connection to all the households. Sahaj Bijli sorry, Hargar Yojana. So how much crore award will be given to the states? 100 crores. Where was the four day international dance festival titled Udba Utsav inaugurated by Uzbekistan ambassador to India Farhod Arzif? Yes, it was inaugurated in Gwalior of Madhya Pradesh is the right answer. Which Formula 1 racer has won the US Grand Prix 2018? So it was won by Kimi Raikkonen. He has won the US Grand Prix. I told you make a tabular column all the F1 races and the winner name. Okay, so that it will be easy for you to recollect before the exam. 12th ASEAN Defense Ministers meeting 2018 was held at Yes, it was held at ASEAN, Association of Southeast Asian Nations. It is headquartered at Jakarta of Indonesia. This grouping of 10 members, it was held at Singapore. Next. Where did Vice President M. Bankai Naidu inaugurate the three-day Sagar Discourse 2 conference? Yes, it was inaugurated in the capital city of Goa, Panaji. CCA has approved creation of fisheries and aquaculture infrastructure development fund with an estimate amount of dash rupees. So how much fund was allocated to this FIDF? It was allocated 7,522 crores. Name the professor who has been named as Indian Na National Science Academy Teachers Award 2018. And it was won by Asis Mukherjee, who is a Tejpur University professor. Next. Who has been appointed as the next ambassador of India to the Republic of Union of Myanmar? So, note down all the Indian envoys to other countries. It's one place so that it will be easy for you to recollect. So, who is that? It is Saurabh Kumar was an appointed. For Myanmar, its capital is Naipitwa. Currency is Kyat. Which of the following universities from India remain top with 33, 33rd position in QS Asia University rankings? It is IIT Bombay has taken the 33rd position. And which has taken the first place? Is a question. Next question. It is National University of Singapore first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Who has won the 2018 World Billiards Championship title at Leeds, UK? Yes, 
Yes, it was won by Saurav Kotari. Is the right answer. World Billiards Championship held at Leeds, UK. Which city is the venue of 5th edition of Women of India National Organic Festival 2018? Obviously, our capital at New Delhi. What is the theme of World Day of Audiovisual Heritage observed on October 27th? Sahil Bindra, please stop the comment. Stop your promotion of other institutes here. Okay, moving on to the question. What is the right answer? Your story is moving is the right answer. World Day for Audiovisual Heritage, which is observed on 27th October. Metro Inox is of which city has become India's first rooftop solar powered cinema? So, Metro Inox of Mumbai city has become the first roof, India's rooftop solar powered cinema is the right answer india shipbuilder which shipbuilder has built the 3000 ton training ship for the indian coast guard named icgs varuna recently yes it is it is launched by reliance naval and engineering of anil ambani next who has sworn in as the new Prime Minister of Sri Lanka? I think very easy. It is Mahinda Rajapaksa recently and Maitripala Sirisena is the President of Sri Lanka. Okay, Sri Jayavardhanapura and Colombo are the capitals and Sri Lankan rupee is the currency of Sri Lanka. Which of the following companies from India has won the top challengers and best mining equipment seller award 2018? It is Bharat Earth Movers Limited, which is headquartered at Bengaluru. And it has also given us the famous 2.5 ton truck also, right? Hope you remember this current affairs. Batukamma and Bonalu festivals of Dash are said to be included in o Oxford Distant Dictionary recently. Yes, it is of Telangana state. They are going to enter into Oxford Dictionary. They are observed during the Dasara festival. Trident Juncture is a Dash India, sorry, Dash biggest military exercise began in Norway recently. Rapid Trident and Clear Sky is of NATO and Ukraine. And Trident Juncture is of NATO only. The grouping of 29 nations which is headquartered at Brussels of Belgium. Krishi Kumbh 2018 was held in. Krishi Kumbh 2018 was held in Lucknow. Gyan Kumbh was held recently in Haridwar. Okay, Krishi Kumb at Lucknow that is regarding agriculture. Gyan Kumb is regarding uh, knowledge. These investors or traders are not interested in bull or mare market. They invest in only in IPOs. So who are they? Generally it is given from learn to a day which we give in the current affairs, daily current affairs at the last. You can find it on the PDF. So they are stacks. Okay, wolves are those those who burn their hands by investing in short-term securities. International Arya Maha Sammelan, 10th Nuclear Energy Conclave, 11th Global Agricultural Summit, 2nd India Mobile Congress, 2018. So four events. So they were held in our capital city New Delhi okay which state has received the best horticulture state award in the 11th agricultural summit 2018 held in New Delhi 
Yes, it was received by Nagaland. Best horticulture. Horticulture means they invest in flowers, vegetables, etc. Which of the following has won 2018 Commonwealth Association of Public Administration and Management International Innovation Award? You can find you can find the PDF on talentsprint examprep.talentsprint.com. So which India has won this Kapam Award? recently inaugural jcb prize for literature was won by dash for the novel it was given by jcb foundation yes it was won by benjamin for his novel jasmine days name of the novel is jasmine days Who has won the bronze medal, India's second medal at World Wrestling Championship in Budapest of Hungary after Bajrang Punia? The first medalist has settled for silver. Yes, what is the answer? Pooja Danda has become the second medalist. He has won bronze. First was won by Bajrang Punia, silver. For which of the following nations, Sahile Work Zevde has become the first female president? Yes, obviously these questions will come from different, will come in different examinations, Saurav, Rakshit. That's why I'm providing you a lot of MCQs, so that you will not miss 75% of the questions. Yes, she has become the president of Ethiopia is the right answer. Its capital is Addis Ababa. And its currency is Ethiopian Bar. To complete the session, I can give you 50 questions, right? Why I am gi why I'm giving 200 questions plus? Because you should score more in general awareness. Rajkumar Singhajit Singh was awarded with Tagore Award for Cultural Harmony for 2014. So he was dance dancer. He was... Manipuri dancer who has won the Tagore Award for Cultural Harmony, Rajkumar Singhajit Singh. And for 2015, Chayanath, an organization from Dash, has won this award. It is from Bangladesh. Okay. And for 2016, it was given to Ram Vanji Sutar, the sculpture of Chambal Monument at Gandhi Sagar Dam. is also the sculpture for the Statue of Unity also in on the banks of Narmada. Okay. So this Chambal monument was built in the state of Madhya Pradesh is the right answer. Spark Impress portals are launched by Government of India to promote research. We have already seen Spark and Re Impress portals to promote education is the right answer. India's Meenakshi Chaudhary has won the dash position at Miss Grand International 2018. So she has won the first runner-up and winner was Clara Sosa. She is from Paraguay. Who has won the first agricult World Agriculture Prize instituted by the Indian Council of Food and Agriculture? It is by our father of Green Revolution in India, M.S. Swaminathan. And in world, it is Norman Borlaug. He is a father of Green Revolution in world. And M.S. Swaminathan is father of Green Revolution in India. India's first Indian-made engineless train is named as. Is named as Train 18, developed by Integral Coach Factory Chennai. Next. Where was the Vetex program? held water energy technology and environment exhibition it was held in dubai and government has constituted four member group of ministers headed by dash to deal with and prevent sexual harassment at workplace so it will be headed by rajnath singh ministry of home affairs and other members are smithy rani is not present and other three members are these people nitin gadkari Irmala Sitaraman and Menaka Sanjay Gandhi. 
Syndicate Bank has announced capital infusion of Dash Core from the government in in lieu of preferential, preferential allotment of shares recently. Yes, the announcement of 70, 728 crores. Which type of emission complaint vehicles are to be used in India from 1st April 2020 as per Supreme Court guidelines? Yes, it is BS6, Bharat State 6 is the right answer. Next, PM Modi has launched a portal and app for IT professionals to bring together their efforts towards social cause causes on one platform. So what is it? It is Me Nahi Hum and the theme is Self First Society. Okay, this is a theme of this portal Me Nahi Hum, I Not We. So which of the following has launched artificial intelligence powered customer service app called Kushi which aims to provide assistance to policy holders for their insurance related queries. So which is it? It is PNB Punjab National Bank's MetLife. PNB MetLife. So who was appointed as MD and CEO of Paytm Payments Bank? It is Satish Kumar Gupta, M. Nageshwara is CBI Director, Anubrata Biswas is for Airtel. Okay. Virat Kohli has become the fastest batsman to reach Dash ODI runs and he is a Dash Indian to do so. Ten thousand runs and fifth Indian to do so. Recently, the STAP Core International Conference of Status and Production of Coral Reefs with the theme Reef of Life was held in. It was held in Bangaram Island of Lakshadweep. Kavarati is the capital of Lakshadweep, and Lakshadweep comes under Kerala High Court. Who has become the Miss Diff Asia 2018 and which state she belongs to? And she, has, she is Nishita Dujeja. Haryana. Haryana has given Manushu Chiller also. Okay. Who has been appointed as interim director of CBI? It is again, I have already told you, M. Nageshwar Rao is the right answer. Which personality was awarded with CEO Peace Prize 2018? Our Prime Minister Narendra Modi was given. I think very easy question. Which of the following is are observed on 24th October? Rashtriya Ekta Divas is observed on October 31st, though this is not the answer. So, 134 is a United Nations Day, World Polio Day, World Development Information Day is observed on or observed on 24th October. Who was sworn in as a new president of Vietnam? Its capital is Hanoi and its currency is Dong. It is Nguyen Phu Trong. Okay. As per ADB's Asia Economic Integration Report, which has most outward migrants in 2017? It is obviously India. Highest outward migrants in 2017. Iron Magic 19 is a joint military exercise between. It is between UAE and US. Iron Magic 19. Which personality was bestowed with Lal Bahadur Shastri National Award of Excellence in Public Administration? It is the former Supreme Court Judge Fali S. Nariman. He has written the famous book, God Save the Honorable Supreme Court. Who has been conferred with Maharshi Valmiki Jayanti Award? Yes, it was conferred to former Prime Minister of India. HD Dev Gowda. India, Iran, Afghanistan held their first trilateral meet on Chabar Port. In Chabar Port is in Iran. So if it is open to India, India can enter Afghanistan because Pakistan is not allowing us. So it was in the capital city of Iran, Tehran. 
which year the azad hind government was formed by netaji subhash chandra bose recently we have celebrated the 75th anniversary so it will be 1943 so government is coming up with the 75 rupees coin also this is the current affairs of today right next president of india has inaugurated vishwa shanti ahimsa sammelan in in nasik of maharashtra it was inaugurated paul bia has won the presidential term of of cameron cameron is the right answer its capital is yonde and central african franc is the currency paul bia suresh nambath was appointed as editor of jasna i have told you in my previous questions one of my previous questions hindu and n ravi was appointed as the chairman of press council of india next he is a former hindu editor india's first bitcoin atm was launched and seized also uh, developed by uno coin it was inaugurated in bengaluru state bank of india has first bank to introduce wealth business services to its customer in the name of sbi a wealth is a right answer indian art sorry international atomic energy agency it is headquartered in vienna of austria so this 27th fusion energy conference was held in gandhinagar of gujarat ias 27th fusion energy conference stewer port is along the coast of recently india wants to develop along with myanmar it is on the coast of myanmar so successfully we have completed around 200 plus questions so hope you have enjoyed the session yes thumbs up so stay tuned we have one more session for at 6 pm for the talent sprint premium students okay so thank you so much for joining so prepare for general awareness so re uh, recollect the current affairs of 6 to 7 months write them for each month write them in one paper so that it will be easy for you write a short note so thank you so much for joining take very good care of yourself and meet you next time bye